Go. Good afternoon, everybody. It's uh, Wednesday, uh, a bit windy today, so I hope the wind doesn't uh, obliterate my voice. No golf on Sunday, because I was away in Malaga for the weekend, uh, but it was actually warmer here than it was in southern Spain, but I've had a nice break away anyway. Um, the Robin Kingsland Round Robin, uh, being organised by Peter Bright, well done Peter, uh, he's told me that Richard Fawcett and Paul Agate are in the lead, having won all six games that they've played so far. So come on guys, you cannot let Fawcett and Agate just walk away with this one. Just buck your ideas up, get some victories under your belt and let's move them down the, let's move them down the table. Uh, but thanks very much Peter for organising that and Peter's also drawn the PGA sweepstake. Uh, I've got Bryson DeChambeau, so he's one of these well, a bit of a gorilla, isn't he, really? Hits the ball a bloody mile, but we'll see whether he can actually get a major under his belt. But I've got Bryson DeChambeau and a couple of outsiders. So again, thanks, Peter, for organising that. I played in the Mugs last Thursday, so a week ago, at Banstead Downs. Lovely course, but if there's one word to describe it, it would be flat. Lovely course, great condition. Um, I would say not as good as Chrome, but, uh, but it's flat and, to be honest, a bit boring. But impeccably organised by Ben Carroll, as anything that Ben organises is. So, and it was great to play with uh, Peter Rice, who's the captain of the Mugs, and also Paul Hollingham, who's the captain of the Layabout. So we had a, uh, a really nice round at Banstead. Uh, I was supposed to play in the past Captains versus Addington Palace match last Friday, but unfortunately that had to be cancelled because uh, there was a funeral as a because a past captain of Addington Palace had sadly passed away and it was his funeral that day. So very bad planning on their part, but they had to unfortunately cancel the match. Uh, coming up this week, uh, I'm playing at Rye. So there's a fantastic golf course for you. Playing at Rye on Thursday and Friday. So that's foursomes on Thursday afternoon, a fairly boozy dinner on Thursday evening and then uh, foursomes in the morning to sober us up on Friday uh, and that's one of the perks of working in the wine business because we do get to play at some pretty nice courses in the various matches that are organised in the wines and also the spirits trade. I'm playing Captain and Pro this Sunday, I haven't done a Captain and Pro for a few weeks because of various reasons, I'm playing against Jim Foster and John Clements this Sunday so uh, and it's a nice early start so uh, we'll get out there probably before uh, anyone else is even on the course which means we'll be back early so I won't be doing a speech this Sunday because uh, I'm not going to be hanging around for a couple of hours uh, just for the handful of people who are in the 19th. Uh, and on Monday I've got another drinks trade match down at Churston down in Devon so I'm getting a train down to Churston to play there. Uh, but back to Chromehurst, uh, Gala Week is coming up and Caroline's on the other side of the camera doing a great job and I, we've talked about Gala Week. Gala Week is less than a month away now and Caroline has really assured me that everybody leaves their decisions till the last minute so I'm relying on all of you to actually sort yourselves out, support Gala Week, put yourself down to play in the various competitions, support James, El James Miller's 100 hole challenge but please do it quickly because I want to be reassured that it's going to be a success. A lot of work's gone into it, not just by me, but also by the club council, by Sue Taylor, the ladies' captain, uh, by Ian Collard, who's organising the Sunday fun afternoon. So please, please get it in your diaries. And if you're a bit late signing up, it's not the end of the world. Um, other events, um, I met up with Bobby. Bobby Hussain, who's my vice captain. And Bobby, as you probably know, has undergone a double knee replacement uh, and he's actually in, he's on the mend which is great so I met up with him for a coffee at the end of last week because he just wanted to make sure that he was supporting me as much as he possibly can um, given that he can hardly walk uh, he's uh, he's doing really well he's still on uh, still on walking sticks but Bobby's going to be helping me uh, with three of the uh, events that are going to happen during gala week so thanks very much Bobby and it's great to see you almost back on the course and looking further ahead on the 23rd of July we have the ladies open here at Croom and we're expecting nearly 70 ladies from other clubs to play here at Croom and Ju Judy Cove is organizing it and she asked me if I would act as starter on the first tee so welcoming everybody and um, basically telling them that the bunker at the top of the course is actually nowhere near the green and they've still got 100 yards to go when they get up the first. So, but I'm very much looking forward to that. Looking forward, now we've got some sunshine to everything that's happening during my captain's year, but until we speak again, have a great week. Cheers.